Hello and welcome to a special bit of bonus fun uh, for the Jay and Rob Toy Show. I am more or less solo this time. Well, that's not 100% true because I have a special guest that's going to come on. We've been trying to make this work for the last five or six days. He's been busy, lots of stuff going on in his life. He's the big hero, but he's a good friend regardless of this. He's got great shelves. Uh, you'll never see somebody take a better shelfie than this gentleman. And we've had him on the Jay and Rob show in the past. And uh, his his legacy, his curse follows us every episode that we do. So I thought, you know what? Let's just pick a little special time to chat with the uh, incomparable, yet always uh, irresistible, Mr. Justice Curry. So let me bring him on and see how he's doing. Hey guys, Justice Curry here. Thank you. I'm gonna need a dictionary to look up many of those terms that you used to describe me, but they sounded no, no, no. <laughs> I made most of them up. I've been playing a lot of Scrabble and trying to memorize the sound. So most of those come from that. That makes sense. That makes sense. Well, I'm finally it was it was perfect that the stars aligned and we're able to hang out and you know have the people in uh, TV land watch us later and just uh Kind of enjoy this this chit chat about this new special project. Not new. I mean, it's been around for a little bit, um, but yeah, I'm super excited to be here. Well, let's let's talk about you first. And you're already doing some really heavy lifting. You want to talk about? It sounds like our new TV show and yes. everything for action figure adventure as well, which is very nice. I didn't expect that. <laughs> um, I'll definitely sit here and listen to all the promo stuff you want to talk Ooh, about. Yeah. How have? <laughs> there you go. There you go. You got the DVD. I've got the Blu-ray. The The DVD is far more rare than the Blu-ray. I will say, I think there's less than 30 copies of the DVD in existence. Well, there's probably only 30 DVD players in existence. All you high class guys. This is true. Blu-ray players. I have yet to afford one yet. So I have to stay with my VHS tapes and my uh, DVDs for the time being. Well, you know what? It's okay. It'll be retro and collectible soon. Uh, so you're ahead of the curve once again. How have you been doing, though, my friend? I've heard that there's been a, a couple ailments going on in your life as of late, uh, giving you pause and, and reflection time, which is, I think, always good. Yes, absolutely. Um, and I won't bore you guys at home with all my medical ails. But, uh, you know, as you see, I'm kind of high energy. And sometimes I can do that in my personal life, wrestling with my kids, playing on the trampoline. And I ended a week and a half ago, blew out my knee and they're talking about surgery, but just a little spoiler, uh, an hour and a half ago, I just left the doctor's appointment. They said, I do not need surgery. I should be back to normal. Um, well, I guess I'll never be normal because I'm Justice Curry, but I'll be back to normal physically, hopefully in a month. So that's kind of the little teaser about the, my, my medical stuff going on. <laughs> T minus 30 days until 100%. Watch out, world. He's coming back at you. You can't get ready for this guy's return fast enough. Uh, the the core concept bet between and behind us talking is is this package that I that I received in the mail. I don't want to get to it just yet because it sounds yeah. like we've got a few other things to talk about. I am deadly afraid of what you have put in here. On previous episodes of the Jane Rob Toy Show, we've talked about how you like to add other knickknacks and. I know what I'm expecting, and I wasn't expecting this sound. <laughs> just uh oh, the, the thing that I sent you, that mint time card figure, must have came loose and is now in a. It, it sounds like a, a box of popcorn kernels. Oh, that, that's um, not. Weird. You need to file a claim with the postal service because I sent it over I, to Canada, <laughs> so your customs must have destroyed it. I, I apologize. It's, it sounds like international mail fraud 101. No, I swear to you, it was a Mickey Mouse Cobra Commander that, that's in there. Mint. Nothing could have gone wrong with it. I know. Um, so you were part of Action Figure Adventure in a big, big way and uh, in actually a, a time life-saving way almost because when COVID hit for Action Figure Adventure, we had been filming for over a year and we were ready to do this big in-person auction in London, Ontario, you had already been in contact with me. We had already filmed with Motu Joe in March. You said, hey man, if there's any way I can be a part of it, let me know. And I said, well, we're doing this live auction thing where you know people are gonna have the paddles and bid on all these items that, you, that are there. You're like, okay, cool. Well, I'll try to come up and maybe film what it's like to go from 
where you are in Michigan, all the way up to London, Ontario, and kind of document the journey. I said, sure, that'd be great. Of course, we'll film you, get your reactions, put you in the series. But then COVID happened and we had to delay these big public gatherings that we had planned. And we thought, well, what if we did an online auction to culminate everything? And you and Motu Joe were able to, to track to Chicago and be a part of everything that was going on there because we had our kind of HQ set up and you joined Brett, our, our auctioneer, to really send this series off in, in a big way with some awesome color commentary, some personal insights, and a lot of collection uh, speak for the uninundated, uh, you know, maybe the, the, new, the new people out there that didn't know why some of these collection items uh, were so special and so cool. And I can't thank you enough for that because you literally dropped everything to be a part of it. And if it wasn't for you, Brett and Motu Joe, I don't know that we would have had an ending for this series for that DVD that you're holding up. Yeah, and and now that you're mentioning it, the uh, the check that you sent me to be part of it bounced. So we're gonna have to have a discussion with your financial person. Because I wrote it on Monopoly money. I just put it on envelope, a couple oh. of five hundred dollar bills from Monopoly, and said, "Here you go, pay to the order." I knew I'm it. Just cash, Curry. <laughs> yeah, just cash, Curry. No, I was I was honored to be part of it. Um, when we had talked uh, a good distance in the in the past there and you said hey i want someone to be that's knowledgeable and passionate about these toys and the auction and i'm like oh yeah that's right up my alley you know i love sharing my adventure my knowledge my enthusiasm i mean as you can see this is collecting paradise uh that i live in and i i just love it i love talking about toys i love being part of the community and then with the whole action uh figure adventure um concept with all the proceeds going to charity and all this other stuff. i was like man this is perfect and i got to hang out with my good friend motu joe and go on a fun adventure to chicagoland and be filmed for the the final auction and then actually watching it all coming together i, I got to watch it not too long ago when you sent me this dvd and see jay's reaction and, and how you edited the you know 45 minutes or whatever it was into a few minutes was really really just put a giant smile on my face so well done oh so you liked it because we actually hadn't talked about your reaction to oh, that yeah. not like the whole series but just the translation from your experience of the auction to how it fit into the episode yeah pretty much <laughs> um no i mean jay's adventure going from all these different toy collectors and toy shops and picking out these like grail items and everyone's like oh what's a grail I mean, going to Walmart right now and finding an exclusive figure, that's not a grail figure. A grail figure are the, the Cobra Commanders. I know it's a tough subject right now, and you guys will find out when you watch Action Figure Adventure. Um, but the Sail Barge and you know Optimus Prime, and I know I'm giving you spoilers on some of the stuff that he purchased, but just seeing uh, and, and watching the, the prices go up and watching how he – because the, the story – behind the figure is, is almost as important as the figure itself. Like I can look throughout my toy room and with my weird Rain Man senses, pick up anything and I remember who I bought this from, of roughly how much I paid for it, whether it was a friend that they had this. And, and I don't collect just Transformers just to collect them. I had this figure as a kid and to reacquire them um, from someone else and put them on display and I know I get off on a lot of tangents, Rob, and I know your your PR person contacted me beforehand this whole this whole thing and told me to tone it down on the tangents, but I can't. It's a part of my personality. Yeah, at at, at a certain point when you talk too much, like the Oscars, you just get pulled from the stream and it defaults <laughs> to just me. So far, you're in the green zone. We almost went orange there, but yep. you kept it safe and secure. Yeah, uh, no. that's figure adventure. The, the Blu-ray is available still. I literally think there's like three, maybe four copies left on Big Bad Toy Store. Uh, I don't know if they're going to want to do a second order. What is on Big Bad Toy Store was left over from our Kickstarter campaign. They uh, lovingly came in and said, we'll take up whatever extra discs you have. We believe in you, the cause, Children's Health Foundation, like you said, all the proceeds going to help them. Uh, it was truly a unique mission. And of course, we're looking to do season two. There's a lot that has to happen for that to take place. Right. And in the meantime, we've created the Jay and Rob Toy Show, which has been this live stream that we've been doing, 28 episodes deep for what we called season one. We translated it into a TV show of 10 episodes long, and that debuts next week, June 16th Ooh. in Canada. And maybe it might be premiering 
around the world and other places. We're still working on some finer details there, but it will be coming to everybody very soon. Canada always gets kind of first dibs. That's that's just my <laughs> thing, I guess. It's just it's kind of how the, the dice roll for me. Right. Uh, right. But it, it's it's been pretty pretty cool, pretty fortunate that I've been able to get this series out there. And of course, I can kind of let the cat out of the bag now with Action Figure yeah. Adventure. The, the distribution company that came on board to help us with this is the Nacelle Company which you might know from the toys that made us. So yeah. clearly people that understand uh, toys, pop culture, they're also behind a toy store near you, which is another fun series to kind of look at what it takes to uh, kind of have a toy store in different parts of the world and how you might survive something like COVID and how that's impacted places around the world and how the, the love of pop culture is still keeping these places alive because of the strength of the community, which is what we talk about in action figure adventure and the call to action uh, to help those in less needs, whether it's kids that are critically or terminally ill or stores that need to kind of keep the lights on to, to pay their bills. So uh, fun stuff, fun power of toys to, to keep smiles on our faces and, and other people as well. Absolutely. Well, and you're leaving out one of the biggest points. I, I don't know if there's copyright issues, but the streaming service that Action Figure Adventure is finally on. Can we talk well, about that? Well, it's not on there yet. What? I have been waiting every single day. It should have been out there for two weeks now, but it hasn't. It's I know. When I Google it, it says what, available. Is it showing live? Uh, no, crap. Is it when showing I live? I don't think it's, it's out there yet. On, can we say it? Are we allowed to? Is it out there officially? Well, it's. it says that. Uh, I know this. Are you sure? I don't know. It says Amazon Prime Video Watch. Uh, I, I I don't know. Can you click on it? What happens if you click on it? Well, I'm not signed. Well, let's see. Can you sign in? I'm I'm signing in right now because this is literally breaking news if this is actually <laughs> happening. Because I don't know. I've been told that we're waiting on some technical issues. I I'm not signed. My phone's not connected to Amazon Prime, so I can't tell. Well, why not? I'm, because, I'm checking right now. Because this this is an old Nextel phone. I'm still getting that it's not up on my end. Oh, uh, okay. So any day. So, in grand <laughs> any day. Is this any live? day? Don't worry about buying the Blu-ray, I guess. Thanks. Uh, thanks, Justice. <laughs> uh, don't worry about buying this. Just, you know, get it for free online. You know what? Why don't you just give them an illegal pirate download code while you're at it? That that would be fantastic. <laughs> I'll, I'll I'll put my Napster account on there. Um, but these will Please be do after LimeWire. LimeWire, yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Any day now, though, yes, it should be on Amazon Prime. By the time you're checking out this video in, in a day or so or you get caught up, uh, go and check out and see if it's on Amazon Prime. It could be on a couple other platforms. It should be on Apple TV as well. I believe it is on Vimeo for people that want to purchase it digitally or I think you can rent it through Nacelle's page. So it is coming out there. It is going around the world. It is on Jinx Esports TV around the world as well through their website. You can check it out. It's also premiering on Sky in the UK and it's also in South Africa as well. So it is getting out there. It is getting an entire global push. It's just a matter of literally the stars aligning which is what this whole opportunity with Justice and I talking has been like as well. So it is coming, and I, I can't wait for everybody else to discover. Even our backers are just getting the four-disc version now uh, of the series, and they're literally posting stuff every day, which is fun for me to see. Hey, look what I just got in the mail, the signed version by everybody. And it, it's a pretty cool opportunity to, to see it finally come to fruition at this point, even though we're on to the next stuff already. It's, it's a fun thing. You know what I'm loving right now is in your background – there's a Castle Grayskull. Is that an Icon Heroes? Which Castle Grayskull is that? Is that the one? That's Icon Heroes nice. over here, yeah. Oh, yeah, I love yeah. that one. And then you have Snake Mountain. So you got the good versus justice. It's, <laughs> it's the duality that that is our relationship. There is the yin to the yang. Um, it's just, it, it was almost planned. I love that Snake Mountain. I have not been able to find it anywhere. I would trade the classic Snake Mountain for it, probably. If I had the opportunity straight up, it is just an awesome, awesome piece. Oh, wow. So kudos to you. I didn't like the base that goes for the icon heroes, Grayskull, which is why you don't see, you know, the, you didn't like that? the stairs and whatnot. No, I just thought it, it didn't look like it was part of it. It looked like an afterthought. No way. You, you can tell that. Awesome. I just no. And then do look at those me. little tiny micro figures kind of, kind of go right there. Yeah. I just, I, I don't know. I'm just not loving it. It felt like an afterthought to me. It's it's a little clunky. It's a little too big. It doesn't it doesn't have the uh, the iconic visage that the rest of it has, in my uh, opinion. So, but thanks for showing off 
stealthy and trying to one up me. I'd expect that from you. <laughs> That's how I got to do it. I mean, I got to survive somehow. And I'll even one up you to the next extreme. This Great. one was designed by Nate Barch, um, who does a lot right. of work with the Four Horsemen and whatnot. This was his personal one. Like he helped design oh, okay. it. And then he got a personal one for help designing it. And then I purchased it from him. But he goes, you know what? I never really liked how the, the face of Castle Grayskull turned out in the production one. He dremeled it all off and then remolded it with clay and then repainted it to match. So it's a one of a kind by, by Nate Barch. So that's the one up well, to the one up. Well, I'll one up that because I know Nate Barch from a cool docuseries called action figure adventure where we interviewed him and talked about packaging and illustration and everything and all the work that he does. So we got to spend some time with Nate Barch That's talking needed. about everything that he loves. Dang so it. it was, it was cool to, to, you know, chat with him and have him a part of a series that I created justice that I decided to put you in. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so should we get to what's in the box? Let's let's see what's in the box. Let's see what kind of broken. I'll I'll start downloading uh, the claims form for insurance purposes. Now, this is first of all quite the unique box. There's like some satin silver tape around the edges here. It might be hard to kind of see uh, with all the lights and stuff, but you can see that you've used some sort of satin tape. You've used a professional shipping box for like a switchblade thermometer or something here. What is that? Uh, I'm not. I don't. I, know it's to say. like a microscope or something. I I don't know. But because it's a package from Justice Curry, and you can never be too safe, even with friends. I have to do due diligence once again. You're smart, man. Just just make sure because I don't know what you've got in here. Yeah. I don't know what living critters could be inside. Uh, that my reputation might make me appear. Apparently. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, here we go. At least my hands will be safe. That's right. Your eyes. Find it. All right. Now, I, I don't know how to open this. You, you've literally covered it in tape. I don't even all over the place. what I sent you. Like, literally, I, don't, I have no idea what's in there. Oh, my goodness. It, you've put a lot of tape on it. I probably got charged extra for customs because of the <laughs> added weight from the tape. That, I, well, you've definitely filled it with garbage. What are you talking Which about? Is, One man's trash is another man's treasure. That, that's not garbage. You got some sort of Voltron thing here. I'm going to go full screen on me. They'll still be All able right. to hear you. You got some sort of eraser of Voltron looking dude here. That's pre-production. One of a kind. Oh, yeah. That, yep. You've got some sort of cape thing here. Oh, yeah. That's very desirable. Like this is like the bottom of your of your bins that you get when you buy collections. Like, I can't just throw it out because it's toys. It's retro. It's worth something. So you just scoop it up like like styrofoam peanuts and pack it in crap. <laughs> I've got dynamite t-shirts and literally garbage at this point that you're throwing in here. Oh, that's a good company. Okay. Well, I'm not saying the company isn't, but it's like tattered. It's not even a crisp business card. It's, <laughs> it had been sitting in your glove box for a Look at this thing. The, like it's like ripping at the edge here. This isn't what care. This is like what else do I got in my wallet to shove in <laughs> Rob's package? It's like <laughs> there's an ad for Zippo lighters. Like <laughs> <laughs> that's desirable in certain collecting communities. Maybe in Michigan, not in Ontario. <laughs> Maybe in Michigan. Well, you guys are behind the curve. I guess there there's something here, Captain Ace. Oh, that's like a play stand for a modern G.I. Joe figure. Okay, that, that actually might have some value. There's a pylon in here now at this point. Oh, yeah. Okay. That can go in front of Castle Grayskull. Yeah, because when they're backing up the Wind Raider, they got to make sure they avoid the cone, right? There's <laughs> there's a mouse. Like, <laughs> I don't know. That's... Some of this stuff is like dissolving the gloves, by the <laughs> way. like I can feel like an oily substance eroding it. Here's a bootleg Captain Power uh, jetpack. No, no, no. Um, Hold on. That might be a Justice Curry special. Let me see what that is. That okay. is a spray painted Major Bloods uh, backpack. I think that is. So that is a G.I. Joe backpack, right? Or let me see the back of it. Is it a backpack? Yeah, it, it's, it's Joe. Yeah. It's got the... Yeah. Uh, but we're going to say it's a bootleg Captain Power custom because <laughs> uh, it makes you sound a little bit worse. All right. um, here's a Shopkins stethoscope. 
Oh, yep. Dr. McStuff and yeah. stethoscope. Yeah. Doc McJustice. Oh, here's an accompanying safety code. Perfect. You need two for safety. You got some purposes. sort of hubcap for some sort of micro turtle. <laughs> I, I don't know. But there is no shortage of crap and garbage that you clearly were too lazy to throw out or recycle. So um, it is there. Now, onto the piece resistance. Um, oh, wait, there's still more crap in here. Hang on. Yeah. It's, it's not like Christmas, although I, I know that you're hoping that it is. So there it is. <laughs> Brainwash Brett, Garbage Pail Kids. Mm -hmm. There you go. Aww. Snort the Bull. That's worth at least two hundred dollars on eBay right now. Those are very well. You're damaging the corners. Yeah, much like your, much like your dynamite shirt card that you sent me from your glove box. <laughs> now this is cool. This this might get some use. Garbage kill, pale kids, tattooed ninja dude. Nope. My my son would would appreciate this. And you've also got uh, Air Force flyer gear from GI Joe Hall of Fame. Looks like oh, here. Yep. So. Yeah. Um, and here we go. This is originally what you packaged everything in here. Yeah. It looks like. You know what? I don't even think you sent me what I asked for at this point. Probably not. Um, Quite which that's won't that's surprise me. That, it was enough that I, that's I had to pay thirty-five dollars in in customs for this as it was. <laughs> I God reused that Canada. plastic box that came from Argentina. No, no exaggeration. There's a ham sandwich in this. <laughs> it's delicious. Trust me. Now, okay, look. I, I, there's literally a ham sandwich and bubble wrap in this. It's so good. It's so tasty. You'll love it. Oh my I put preservatives in it. We oh, need to see I, I might have gloves. to put. I might have to put an extra layer of gloves on at this point. I think you need a biohazard suit on next time oh, I send you something. Disgusting. This is crawling with COVID. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Here we go. So I'm going to put this biohazard container over there. Let's see if I can get to it. Oh, yeah. So can anybody tell what it is yet? Let's see what anybody I can see. No? Can I send it? Yeah, but you don't know what you're doing, so it's okay. <laughs> I send 300 packages out a week. I can't remember. <laughs> Let's see if anybody can tell now from this. One less layer of bubble wrap. Yeah, I'll go full screen for everybody. Can everybody tell? Any comments? No? Okay. There we go. Can anybody tell now? <laughs> Maggot. So I'm going to leave it just in this because I don't want the the grease <laughs> disease that you put around your box to, to touch this just yet. <laughs> but it's uh, Mail Away Sarge. Yep. Sergeant Slaughter with his baton and everything. That's right. Uh, the, this wasn't the figure that I that I talked to you about, but this is one that I wanted to put in for for the efforts that you that you went to um, to make it worth your time for shipping stuff. So I, I only had version two of Slaughter, and I had the triple T. So it was really cool to finally get the mail away uh, figure, and for you to have the baton as well in a really good shape. That's that's a really cool figure to add to the collection. So I'm excited for that. I'm glad it was in there underneath the uh, garbage pile of Gray Skull. Let's see the other figure though that. I contacted you about because this was an emergency. Oh yeah, wicked! This was an emergency that happened in my house. Uh, you've got kids, as do I, and stuff happens during playtime. We always say the best time of day is playtime. Playtime is the best time of day, but when you've got a three and a half year old playing with a six year old as GI Joes, stuff can happen. So I had reached out to you asking if you had an extra. Figure slice because my son loves Ninja Forest figures and his sister, my daughter Scarlett, had broken it off like literally above the knee. I don't know how she did it because these figures, for the most part, are really good with wear and tear, but for some reason, she broke it off. And you know, I, I reached out to you first to see if you had an, an extra one in your collection. You said, Absolutely. I said, Okay, well, let me know what I owe you. And you said, You know what? Let's figure it out later. But let me know if you have anything else that you want me to ship. So that's why I added the Sarge. And um, I truly appreciate you helping not not me out, but the the future generation of collectors, but the the kids that want to play. Because when kids play, I'm sure, like you notice, it just fills my heart when they're just playing. They're on their own world. No other worries or cares matters. They're just having fun. And those moments are so fleeting. We we see it more as adults now. 
that th those times where you don't have to worry about anything are so precious. So this goes a long way to preserving the, the precious, you know, carefree mentality. And my son has special needs. So the more of those that he can have, uh, the better. Absolutely. So he's going to be so excited when, when I tell him that you had nothing to do with this figure <laughs> and that I did all the heavy lifting and got it for him. Uh, I thank you, my friend, for making this possible. So that, is, that is really cool. Yep, you owe me now, you told me it was meant on card, yep. but, I, but I only got Slaughter's card. So what's the deal here? How come you didn't send the rest of his package? Well, you um, ordered, I sent you the Sergeant Slaughter for free. You ordered the Garbage Pail Kid, and you got a free oh, Sergeant Slaughter. <laughs> that's, that's right. Okay, that's the way it works. Well, uh, however you want to say the chips fall, I mean, whatever. <laughs> we'll figure it out. We'll make our own narrative. Yeah. Uh, joking aside, though, thank you so much, my yeah, friend. That is no a very kind gesture. I know I'll never be able to repay it to you later or want to. And it, it, it's really cool of you. It really is. And, and on, so, on a side you. note, everything that you said about your kids um, loving playing with two toys and passing down that, that generational uh, – because a lot of times collectors don't want – their kids touching their collections. And I get it because some things are very high dollar. And, you know, I have an 11 year old and a six year old myself, and they know which kind of toys are off limits and which ones they're allowed to play with. And they've destroyed countless of my special, you know, daddy's toys. But even last night, that's why this uh, Grace, or sorry, Snake Mountain, the, uh, the, the Maddie one is here. Because I went, you know what? Instead of being far back where my son can't play with it, let's put it out here. And we brought all these figures or having an epic battle for like a half hour. And I was curious, or I was actually flabbergasted because out of all the figures he could play with, he loved Ram Man. He just wanted to play with Ram Man constantly. Uh, the vintage one and the new one that's available, the Origins. So he had one Ram Man, one hand one. And I'm like, don't you want Scareglow? Don't you want this or that? Nope, Ram Man. But those were like memories that will be burned into my head and his head forever and he'll have those fond memories of daddy's toys you know it's awesome and it's cool that he like gravitated towards ram man because like it's independent it's like a just a child-led you know focus on what they want like my my son knows a little bit about he-man and stuff he kind of pushes it away because that's what dad's into so he's into like his own thing but the the brands that he doesn't know well it's really interesting to see the characters that he likes and i don't tell him what the characters do i just let him make up his own stories right. and then we have those adventures and it's it's way more fun than saying well that's not how he talks or that's not how he <laughs> acts like no way absolutely man absolutely that's, that's so what fuzzies. what uh what does the rest of your uh month ahead before you're back in action look like um, I don't know. I, I have no idea. I mean, I'm constantly busy. Like most people's life slowed down when COVID hit. Mine didn't. Being in law enforcement, I didn't have the luxury of slowing down. You know, if anything, crime went up and I was dealing with more chaos out in the, the real world. And this kind of toy collecting was very helpful and therapeutic for me because it's a, a break from the real world. And just the, uh, the, the positive vibes. I mean, there's always negativity in any hobby that you have, but to you know, push away that negativity, focus on the positive, and then be that positive change and that light for other people. And that's why I, I like sharing my own collecting, uh, you know, journey with everyone throughout my YouTube and talking and toy shows, what have you. But uh, things don't slow down. Justice Curry's always hip and hopping, hustling, buying collections, selling things, editing YouTube videos, rearranging things. It's it's never ending. Hocking garbage. Hocking garbage, getting rid of stuff packing boxes uh, that I can <laughs> dumping internationally at this point. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I can't believe I didn't put a justice Curry sticker in that box of, of wet trash. I was going to send that was the highlight of the opening this package that I didn't have that face to I confront don't... me that close to my face. Well, we're going to just have to order something again. You're just going to have to buy something All again. Right. Have some really good stuff for you. I'm, I'm sure you do, much to the chagrin of my wallet. So that's <laughs> exciting. I'm looking forward when we can finally hang out. As you may yeah. or may not know, uh, vaccine rollout is ridiculously slow in Canada. It's four months between doses, not four weeks, four months. Wow. And then, of course, our border is still closed for you know non-essential travel. So that that is a thing. But I mentioned we are looking at doing season two of Action Figure Adventure. And, of course... I want to find a way to get you and our good pal Motu Joe involved in that somehow, maybe in a bigger way, maybe back to being part of the auction. 
Lots of opportunities, lots of different things that we can do. Are you down for something like that? Back to the yeah. That'll be cool. Very cool. Well, Well, that fills my happiness bucket for the day. Any last words? Where can people find you? Where can people see you? What uh, what do they need to know before we round off this uh, conversation? I mean, Justice Curry on YouTube, hit that subscribe button. And then Justice Curry on Facebook, just kind of, I post random photographs, videos, what have you. Um, You can't always send me a friend request because I'm getting to the max limit of friends. But you can always hit that follow button. And like I said, I'm constantly selling. I'm buying toy collections, keep a few pieces, and then use that proceeds to be able to finance my own plastic addiction. So if you're looking for a specific toy, typically in the G.I. Joe or He-Man arena, I'll be your guy. But that's it. No big deal. If you want G.I. Joe or He-Man, Justice is your guy. I've bought both brands from him uh, several that. times now, so I, I can vouch for that. And the nice thing about working with you, Justice, once that payment is sent to you, it's out the door like the next day yeah, without I know. question. I just want to get it out. It's, yeah, I don't want to think it's, about it. That. It's great. I don't ever have to worry about it. I, you know, sometimes there's a week delay on, on some people sending stuff. Sometimes you have to remind them. I've never had to worry about it, and it's always been a nice surprise to see it in my mail, even with the additional customs charge on it. <laughs> which always sucks, but that's out of everybody's hands. So uh, yeah. thanks for taking the time to to join me on this uh, impromptu bonus session of the yeah. Jay and Rob Toy Show. Uh, it's fun. We will definitely have you back on a regular guest once we get our live stream season two up and running. For now, we're focusing on the Jay and Rob TV show, which comes out June 16th at 7 p.m. on Super Channel in Canada and soon around the world. And of course, Action Figure Adventure is making its way out. Some people in chat are saying it is on Amazon. It may be listed on Amazon because it's part of a specialty channel, so it may be part of that. It may actually be listed in your country. Who knows? Right. Um, Justice, i got to get you some promo DVDs because I think it might be cool if you give away some DVDs on your YouTube channel. Ooh. Are you up for something like that? Absolutely. Let's let's talk behind the scenes. You, your people get cool. up to my people and we'll make it happen. All right. I like it. Thanks for watching, everybody. You guys are awesome, and we will uh, see you guys on the toils, as, as they say, because the best time of day, Justice, is when? When I don't know, every playtime, playtime, play time. Play time. the best time of day is playtime. It wasn't on the screen. <laughs>